You are right guys, this is Matt Strats here. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Skyrim tutorial. So what I'm going to show you today is how to get two brand new epic weapons. If you've not watched the video that I put out last time, um, the last Skyrim tutorial that I did, it did show you how to get the Death Brand armor in full. Um, showed you exactly where to go, how to get it, and again it is really cool. So this video actually is following on from that last video, as the quest that you get to get the armor, then as soon as you get all the armor pieces, it links you onto this part of the quest and it sends you to this tomb, and you've got to investigate the tomb and kill the guy. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to get into the tomb, what is in the tomb, uh, and also the brand new epic weapons that you can pick up and actually use if you'd so wish. So the weapons that I'm going to be showing you how to get today are, the first one is called Soul Render. Soul Render is a scimitar and basically what it does is it absorbs 15 magic and also lowers the target's magical defences. Um, so again, it's a really cool weapon to have. If you're not going to use it, it does look really cool uh, and they, are look, they look like scimitars so they look professional really. The second weapon that I'm going to show you how to get is called the Blood Scythe. And what the Blood Scythe does is exactly the same as Soul Render but instead of taking magic it takes um, armour and health. So it absorbs 15 health and it also reduces the armor, but armor stat by 15. So it is really good, like I say, um, a good effect to have and if not, they look cool. The thing about these two weapons is the effect won't work unless you use them together. So you've got to dual wield both weapons. If you don't dual wield weapons, you can still use them in attack but it won't have the same enchant effect. So it won't actually cast um, any of the magic or armor reducing stats and it won't absorb any magic or health. So just keep that in mind guys, if you're going to use them, make sure you dual wield them to get the full effect. <laughs> Again, if you're not going to use them, they are really looking awesome weapons and it's fun to just keep them in the chest, you know, say you've collected them. And it follows on from the uh, quest to get the armour, so it doesn't hurt anything to come to this place. It's really easy to do, the boss is not hard, and there's some gold, as you've probably seen from the beginning of it there. There is gold on the floor. You walk in, loot everything, um, some really nice stuff. There's a battle axe worth like 1500 as well, if you've got the space and your inventory to carry it. I didn't want to carry it because it was it was quite bulky and it would have weighed me down. But again, it sells for a ton, so it's worth picking up if you get the chance. You can always come back and pick them up later, and um, it won't disappear. I'm not sure if the gold respawns. I don't think it does, uh, but it would be worth looking into, I suppose, if you ever wanted to do that. So once you've um, got into this part of the uh, into the dungeon, pretty much as soon as you get in, you've just got to fight this guy, and then he will drop the weapons. So you loot the thing at the end, the corpse. Uh, you can get, I think it's Soul Render that you get from that, and then the boss fight starts, kicks into action, and you've got to kill the boss. Uh, the boss will stay for about a third of his health, and then he will disappear, and it will summon adds. You kill the adds, the boss resp uh, respawns and reappears. You kill him down to about another third of his health, the adds come back out, he disappears. You kill the adds, he comes back out for a third and final time, and you just kill him and loot the corpse. Once you've looted the corpse, you can get both weapons. Um, and there you go, that's it done. I'm going to let you watch the rest of this video. I will come back right at the end with just a little, like, uh, thank you. Uh, other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll catch you towards the end. See you later.
And I'm back, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, just at the end here, I show you what they look like on the character themselves. And again, they look really awesome as weapons, so feel free to uh, to pick them up along the way, because it doesn't take too long. And the boss isn't hard, so it's not like you're taking time out of your day to kill him. He's a really easy boss. Um, and like I say, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to obviously comment to your friends and show, share this around with your friends. Uh, feel free to leave a like, because again, I really do appreciate any likes that you give me. It does help my channel out so much. Uh, other than that, I've been Matt Strats. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any problems with this, or you've had any problems with this quest line, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I'll sort them out as quick as I can for you. Uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys. I've been Matt Strats, and I'll catch you later.